In this video, I'm going to take the three images on the left and remove the background and then combine them using layers in PhotoDirector to create the image on the right. The first thing that we want to do is duplicate the background. So go onto that layer and right click and choose Duplicate Layer and then turn that background layer off because it's locked and we can't do anything with it. So then come up here and we're going to make the background black. So let's right click on the layer and rename it and type it black. And then come up here to the Select Area tool and we're going to choose the magic wand selection and we're going to select the background. So make sure contiguous is selected. And let's try this tolerance of 9. And that looks good. So let's go up here to the Fill tool. And we're going to fill it in with black. So come over here and change this to black. And choose OK. And click on the canvas. And then the next thing we're going to do is change the bag to green. So we're going to duplicate the layer, invert the selection, and do the exact same thing with the Fill tool, only we're going to change the color to it. So while this is still selected, come over here to your black layer and right click and choose Duplicate Layer. And then come over here to the Select Area tool and choose this Invert Selection. And now the bag is selected so we can come up here to our Fill tool and change our color to green. and then just click on the canvas and then change the blending mode to darken and also change the opacity to I like it right about here so let's just accept that and then the next thing we want to do is de deselect this selection so choose command D to deselect it and then we're going to add our next layer. So come up here to the Add New Layer and Add Photo Layer. And let's add the label. And then we're also going to remove the background on this label and we're going to resize it. So come up to the Select Area tool again. And with the magic wand selected and that tolerance and contiguous actually you want to make sure contiguous is unchecked because otherwise it won't select the areas inside these letters so that looks good click on the canvas and it selected everything so come up here and choose delete selection and then clear selection and then let's resize it so come up to the Pick and Move tool and then just resize it and drag it and rotate it and click the checkbox to select it. And that looks good. And the next thing that we're going to do is add our last layer. So come up to the Layer Manager and add a Oh, actually, before we do that, make sure you're on the very top layer and then do that. So go up to the Layer Manager, Add Photo Layer, and then choose the hands. And then we're going to select just this hand. We're not going to be using the hand on the right, so we're going to make a selection. So come up here to the Select Area tool. And this time we're going to choose the Lasso selection and then just make a quick selection around that hand and then choose command X to cut it out and then command V and it automatically created a new layer with just that cutout selection. So come back down to this layer the one that we cut the selection out of right click and delete it. So right click and delete layer because we don't need it anymore. 
and then come up here to this layer and turn off all these other layers so that we're just working on this one and we're going to make a selection of the white background so with the select area tool selected come down here and choose the magic wand and click contiguous and the tolerance let's try that tolerance and click on the white and delete selection and clear selection and it didn't choose the shadow area here so let's just keep clicking on that oops try that let's zoom in and let's change our tolerance Let's try that. And then let's just use the eraser tool to get that last little bit here. So come up here, use this eraser tool, and let's just tra uh, drag over that to erase it. And you can be more precise when you're working on your images. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like this. So zoom back out. And now we want to duplicate this layer. So right click to create the second hand. There we go. And duplicate layer. And then we want to flip this layer. So come over here to flip layer horizontally. And there, now we have two hands. And then let's move it over a bit. So choose the pick and move tool and just move it over a bit. And then let's turn on all our other layers to see how this looks. So that's the last thing we need to do is just to move the hands to their locations. So let's turn one hand off and then we'll just work on this hand here. Let's turn that label off too. And then just click and drag over to where you want it to be on the bay. Just line it up so that looks good. So that's the first one. Now come up to the second one. And click on it. And move it over like that. And you'll have to rotate it just a little bit because it's just off the edge here. So that looks good. So let's turn on all our layers. And I think that's it. That looks good. So then just go up here and either export or save selected photo as. And that's it. I hope you like this.